Hi, it's Jonathan the Great Explorer here on a very blustery do in water in the Lake District of Cumbria. I'm going to come on Herbert Island today and I thought I'd bring you along to show you. But this time, instead of my usual vlog, I thought I'd show you how to do it yourself. Stay tuned. St Herbert Island is one of the four islands on Derwent Water in the Lake District. Weirdly, Beatrix Potter also used the island as inspiration for Owl Island in her books. However, more importantly, it's also the island I first learned to paddle a canoe, and then promptly bought a kayak instead. The island itself is a proper little gem. One tip though for when you're launching, don't launch here. Launch from here instead. Over here, you have to pay a launching fee, and over here, it's free. The car park's right beside both of them anyway, so it doesn't make a damn big difference for you, except the new wallet. It doesn't have any easier to launch from there anyway. anyway. I park in Lakeside Car Park because they offer overnight parking, payment by app and easy access to Crow Park, the launching site. Derwent Water is a very popular spot, not just with tourists though, but with the RAF as well. We had visits by both Ospreys and Fast Jets. Plenty of landing spots on Herbert Island. This is the main spot, this is where normally people come. A huge, huge section here. There's more over there as well. Uh, big bumbles. Another big section there. I came paddling around Derwent a while ago with my friend Sean. There's a massive, enormous bell tent just right there. There's a lot of places to camp here. And because all the uh, lakeside uh, boat hires are all shut now, and it's been a weekday, I can pretty much guarantee I have this island to myself tonight. Despite the fact it's on Derwent water <laughs> in Easter. <laughs> So I'm hammock camping tonight, because that's my favourite way of camping. And it's quite windy, as we saw before. It's very blustery today. So I'm going to camp in the main section, which is right in the centre. This bit here. So despite the fact that I'm on the island alone and I don't think anybody's going to land here tonight for peace of mind I've dragged the boat from over there to here so it's, hi it's hiding behind this bloody big tree but I'm still going to lock the boat to this tree I've got the means, I might as well do it peace of mind's a lot of huge thing So that's camp set up, now I'm just gonna chill out for a bit, listen to an audio book, and wait for the stars. Enormous cock pheasant here. So as the night descended, I tried my hand at astrophotography using my phone. It's something I really like to capture as the night sky in these remote locations I camp in can sometimes be very stunning. A shame my photos are the exact opposite of stunning. <laughs> Better luck next time, eh? I 
Very noisy this morning. <laughs> right, up, coffee. Pack up. There's a catapult just there. As I'm pressing down on this, I just noticed something in the in the corner there. I'm not sure you can see that, but I do believe that that is a catapult. Yeah, somebody's catapult has been left behind. It's in good condition too. We should drop and fill out someone's pack. As I stand staring out over Cad Bells and in the distance Great End over there as well. It's a little bit of time for reflection. I had the island completely to myself last night. With a kid, granted, it is a week night. But this is the Easter holidays. The busiest time for the Lake District. The you could hear the crowds in the distance, but not a single person was on this island other than me and some pheasants and some geese and some ducks and a lot of bumblebees as well by the looks of it now for this island to be yours for the night you're going to need a boat the boat hire companies around the edges don't hire them out overnight you can take them out for a couple of hours but not overnight so camping on the island wouldn't be possible now i've seen people turn up last night in sups I've seen um, canoes on this water, which would be a very good idea. Obviously, I turned up in a, my own kayak. Um, pack crafts are now extremely popular and a pretty good option, actually. That being said, it's inaccessibility makes it great to camp on. Obviously, there's no water on the island, but you are surrounded by it. And it's all fresh water, so if you bring a water filter or bring your water up to a roll and boil, that water is all potable. Um, obviously there's no toilets on site so pack in take it out with you um, there's quite a lot of firewood which surprised me because last time it was quite nude so if you want to fire I would suggest bringing your own or you could risk it and take some of those deadfalls lying around uh, food there's a couple of wild edibles on the island but unless you really know what you're doing with that I would probably avoid that too it's just a really nice overnight stop in the heart of the Lake District I couldn't recommend it more This island holds a little bit of uh, significance for me. I did a canoe course oof, a couple of years ago now, um, and the instructors actually brought us to this island to stay the night. And that was the first time I'd been on the island. I'd recommend the canoe course, and if I can find the details, I'll put them in the link below. But the my friend, my good friend Wild Mel, she actually made a video on that course, and I'll link that down below. Please check her stuff out as well. She's a she's a good friend. Right, I do need you to pack up and uh, get on. Thank you for watching. If you have any, if you enjoy this type of content, please hit subscribe, like the video, and give me suggestions. Where would you like me to go next? I'm always up for new adventures. Anyway, until the next time, guys. See ya. Bye bye.